I'm not even gonna try to sugarcoat it, ladies and gentlemen. There is basically nothing to make content off of in Lumion Legacy. The game hasn't tweeted in quite a while. There is basically no Atlantean City news. There's pretty much no Solburst news. And the PvP scene in the game is pretty much dead, let alone people don't even wanna watch trading videos in the game. So what I'm left to do is just research the game even further and try to find interesting things about, well, the game itself. For today's video, I was actually doing some research and I found something very interesting in Lumion Legacy, which I'm quite sure you guys won't believe what I'm about to say. This is Duskid. This was the first ever roaming released in Lumion Legacy. This Duskid was released on July 20th, 2019, which is pretty much 1,327 days from today. So in other words, Duskid has existed for over 1,300 days. This is Ikasune, also known as the second ever roaming introduced into Lumion Legacy. Ikasune was released on October 12th of 2019, which is basically over 1,243 days from today. And pretty much to obtain Ikasune, you just beat the Pagoda and release it from here and you can just find it in the wild. Also, I just realized that T-Bradam never removed this from the Pagoda, so I guess a banana split. And finally, this is Protagon, also known as the third ever Rome introduced into Lumion Legacy. Protagon was actually released on August 2nd of 2020, which is pretty much 948 days from today, almost a thousand. Why did he just talk about Duskid, Ikazune, and Protagon? I mean, it is obvious there's a ton of more Romers released into Lumion Legacy other than those three. You got Murigan, Wobble, Cephalops, Elephage, and much others. What is so special about those three roamers? The reality that is driving me a little bit crazy to just accept is the fact that Lumion Legacy hasn't released a non-soft reset roamer since Protagon, aka since 950 days. So it's been almost a thousand days since the game has released another roamer that you can just simply encounter in the wild and not just have to do some sort of quest to just be able to soft reset for it. I mean, you can soft reset for Murigan, for Elephage, for Cephalops, which are the three most recent roamers added into the game, not including events. And hey, if you want to count events, you can also soft reset for Gregolem, Nevermare, Metronet, Kalos, Wobbles, etc, etc. And over there, we have our beloved Moldeka, which is most likely the next roamer to be added into Lumion Legacy whenever Atlantean City Part 2 comes out. Of course, we all have no idea when Atlantean City Part 2 is finally going to be released into the game, but I'm pretty sure when Lumion Legacy finally adds Atlantean City Part 2 and we're able to obtain Moldeka, Moldeka will in fact not be a soft reset roamer and we're gonna be able to hunt in the wild for Moldeka to appear. It will be very shocking if the next roamer in Lumion Legacy is actually not Moldeka, but knowing Lumion Legacy, there is a high possibility that the next roamer that they include in the game could pretty much just not be Moldeka. So yeah, I just thought of this, 950 days without a non-soft reset roamer in the game. That's actually very crazy. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Arminty and we lit.